This is Amy Chan with CakeDecoratingSchool.com, and if you like cake decorating, you're in the right place. If you're interested in this product, then check out the links in the description. In this video, we are going to be talking about highlighter gold. Ooh, so beautiful. It is a luster dust that I buy in large quantities. You can see just from the lid, it gives you a really, really nice shine. So whether you're dusting this loose over top of things for just a light layer of gold sparkle, or you're going to be making it into a paint to paint over a cake, uh, add some detail to say borders or just cover a whole wide surface area. It's a great choice. Um, and it's what we use typically for looking to make a gold ganache strip or something else like that. To make it into a paint, I typically keep one of my small containers so that I can put just a little bit of gold in. And then I want to dissolve that powder with a clear alcohol. So my choice is usually vodka. If you can get it ever clear or another strong grain alcohol with no taste is actually a better choice. The higher the alcohol content, the quicker it will evaporate off the surface, meaning that you can go over things, especially on fondant without risking making it gummy, right? Cause that moisture will evaporate off quickly. So you just want to put in a little alcohol. You're looking to make a nice paint that's somewhere between hmm, kind of like just a little thinner than I would say a slurry. You want a lot of gold in there, right? So you get nice, even coverage. And so when I look at my brush, if it looks like it's dipped in molten metal, that's usually a good sign. And then it's ready. Just always, I always keep some little bits on hand so I can test it, right? Or test on an area that's not going to be viewed. So just like anything, you want to make sure you're getting good coverage before you start really going to town on your cake. So I'm just going to quickly paint this. And if you're getting any streaks or anything like that, sometimes that means you just need to add a little more gold to the mix to make your paint more intense, or you can allow it to dry set up completely and then go back in. And depending on your environment, that might take a variable amount of time just because you need the moisture and the alcohol to evaporate off. But you can see already I'm getting really nice coverage. It's a really nice, high shine, bright, intense gold. A uh, few tricks. If you color the fondant, ganache, or whatever you're going to be painting a gold brown tone before you paint, it gives you a background color that you're less likely to see any show through and you'll need less coats to cover it completely and get a really nice effect. But this is probably the most popular product we use to make things gold in our studio. And it gives you a really nice high shine and you can see it looks like a little bar of gold now. Right? So it's definitely a great buy and we buy it in the large size because we go through a lot of it, but it's also available in smaller uh, pots and containers if you want to give it a try. If you're interested in more videos about cake decorating materials and equipment or just cake decorating itself, you can follow us on Insta or YouTube at Cake Decorating School. If you think you might be interested in yearly membership, you can go to www.cakedecoratingschool.com for more information. And if you're interested in these products, you can check out the links in the description.